haven't put the um, level sensors in. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was before then or whether it's been since then. The car has not been particularly happy. So it feels as though the front is getting stuck up. So when we lower the suspension, the back is going down. Um, but as it goes down, the front is not purging. Because of that, it thinks there's something stuck under the car, so it puts it straight into extended mode. Um, so what I did yesterday was to go into the settings and change the, um, using the IID tool, change a new, create a new profile which lowers the car down. So mechanically, I've raised the car using the arms, using the as Proud Rhino um, level center arms. That raised it two and a half inches, or 65 mil, 63 mil, whatever it works out to be. Um, because you could, I couldn't work out a way in which I could raise the car using the software that much. So what I have now is a car that thinks it's normal but is actually 63, 63 millimeters higher than it actually thinks it is. But what that does mean is that I can, using the software, I can lower it. So because I felt as though those front shocks, or I felt like the front left shock more than anything else, I felt like it was getting stuck. Now that might be because it's on its way out, just old, not used to sitting in that high position all the time. So I've dropped, using the software yesterday, I dropped the software um, down uh, to just, so I dropped him a 39 millimeter, which is the most I can do on the front. And I wanted it to match on the back. So the back I've also dropped down to 39 millimeters, th dropped by 39 millimeters. So the car's now sitting about 24 mil higher than standard. So it's sitting down further on the shocks and immediately it seemed happier. It seemed, one, it seemed to handle better, um, but two, it, it didn't cause that, that purge problem. Now, that doesn't mean the purge problem's gone away, it just means that because the car is um, lower, it's not getting stuck at that height, so I need to kind of resolve that issue. Look, there are various different issues that cause these purge things, and the, the error I've got up, up on screen now, um, I can't remember which code it was, but that was, it was, it's not venting from basic from the gallery, so it's not letting the air pressure out. And that can be a number of things. It can either be the compressor with a solenoid for the exhaust um, on the compressor itself. It can be various things. It can be the um, valve block at the front of the car, not letting air back out. But when I set the car up, it seemed to work quite well. So it seemed to be reasonably intermittent, which was a bit odd. So one of the major things I found out with these compressors, I think it's with all of them, is that the dryers or the drying system have like a de desiccant in them um, which is made up of like ceramic balls as part of it and they start they deteriorate over time and create a dust um, they create like a like a, a white dust base and they block up the block up the filters and there is a um, a pressed filter which I'll show you in just a moment um, which is the exhaust gas exhaust filter for the actual the compressor itself when it's venting air out of the system uh, and that gets blocked up with this white powder, basically. And that would then cause an intermittent problem of it um, not letting the gas out enough. The algorithm turning around and saying, if it's not enough gas being let out, something is wrong, chuck an error. So what I did, um, I'm going to step back in a second, is to take this off and have a quick look. Um, so what I was kind of looking for, the first thing was to see, is there a lot of white dust in there? Um, and secondly, to see what the actual filter looks like on the, the exhaust solenoid. So that's what I did. So I'll step back. Um, so the cover basically got four of these um, eight mil um, bolts on. So one in each corner, that's really, really simple. And immediately, I don't know if you can see that on here, but there here, if I can do that, it is absolutely covered in this white dust. Like tons of it really fine white dust now i can't imagine it's from anything else other than this desiccant dryer um, so what i'm going to do is have a look at this filter which also looks like it's covered so this is the actual filter for um, the solenoid the exhaust solenoid so i know i've got an idea of what this this one is this is the original compressor that came with the car by the looks of it i think it's an amk one not a touchy one 
but I will double check that. Part number on mine is 6H423B484HD. There are several I've seen that are like HF, HB. I'm not quite sure what they all mean, but either way, that's what mine is. So I'll put that up on the screen as well, if I remember. So first things first is that there's definitely a lot of white powder in here, which kind of leads me to think that I'm probably on the right path. Um, so you can literally take these, they're, they're threaded in, like a, literally like a little bolt. Um, and they're 17 mil, I believe. Um, so literally, you can unscrew them. The plan is you can unscrew them. Um, not easily though. I wonder if it's a 16 mil. I was going to go and try and see if it's a 16 mil. No, it's not a 16 mil. It is a 17 mil, but it's been in there a long time. It doesn't want to come off. So I'm just going to use grips to see if I can get it off. Pretty sure it's a normal thread. There'd be no reason for it to not be. There we go. And what I might do, if this is full up, with dust, I will just replace it, I think. But we'll see. I should be able to blow through this. That's the plan anyway. But the threads are caked in dust. So we're gonna have a quick look and see where that... Look at that. Absolutely full of it. Don't know if you saw that. So that is likely to be what's causing the purge valve to not purge properly. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna start the car up and I'm going to let the uh, let the car purge and blow out any basically any crap that's in there now. Might be a bit noisy. Um, and then I'm going to tidy this thing up, clean it out, probably with a compressor, um, and then refit that. And that should be the, the end of the problems with those. It probably does need a rebuild. I've had a couple of slow lifts, um, which is not great, but. Um, it has been reasonably reliable, so I'm not too fussed about changing the compressor or anything like that at all. So it probably just needs a rebuild. Um, but for the time being, this is going to be the thing to do to either replace this or clean this out. So I'll start the engine now. I'm going to do a quick um, purge from the exhaust. Hopefully you should either see some dust come out or it would just be too easy. Perfect. You don't have to cover my ears, that was really loud. So 
I'm happy with that. Window up and engine off. So that is definitely what the problem was. Um, it seems to be working fine. I'm gonna get the compressor out and give this a good old clean in here. Give it a bit of a hoover out. I'm gonna see what I can get out of this. Yeah, that works. That's not particularly pleasant, but um, yeah, that was, that was jam packed full. But you can definitely blow through it now. So that seems to be okay, actually. I might give that a blow with the compressor as well anyway, just to get as much of that dust out as possible. But yeah, then that's ready to go back in. I'm not gonna replace it. It's not particularly chewed up and it just needs to go in tight enough that it doesn't come out. It's not under any load. So we'll give this a clean first and then uh, we should be good to go. Gonna give it a nip up. It really doesn't need to be tight. There we go. That'll be fine. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get the hoover and give this a bit of a hoover out as well. Um, and then I'm also gonna get a couple bits of foam because these foam bits have kind of expired now. They're so flat. You've now got these, these, um, the high pressure hoses are all now sitting on metal and rubbing. So that. It's already marking that underneath those hoses, I can feel a little ridge. So, and they are basically vulnerable break points. And the same on the back. In fact, actually, there's got the cables hanging out. It hasn't gone through the binding, but um, still not great. So I'm gonna put some new sponge on those bits and then pop the cover back on. And then we should be, then uh, give everything a bit of a hoover up. Always keep the little feet for my Kia boxes, even if you don't use them. Great things for this. You want them for long? No, it's going. They're brilliant, these are. Because they're pretty robust. They offer a lot of protection. Because the sponge is just rubbish. So you can pull that old sponge off. Wow, it's quite hot still. Like that. See, my wife thinks I'm a hoarder, but actually, I keep things which are really useful. So there we go. Look at that. Perfecto. So that'll stop that from rubbing on there, um, front and back. I'm now going to, that doesn't really need a hoover up, this is okay. Um, it's otherwise okay. Weirdly, when I had this car in with Broad Lane, you can't really see my face, but I had this in with Broad Lane, we had this purge issue then. Um, but when they took this lid off, the clip was undone. This, this connector was actually disconnected. So I have no idea how that works. Suspension had been working up until that point. Weird old one that was. So they've actually put it back together again and zip tied it. So if you notice there's a zip tie holding together, that is why to stop that coming off again. Very bizarre. They've zip tied both of them in fact, actually. So strange one. Anyways, that is done. So I'm gonna get the lid back on 
and then give everything a bit of a hoover out, out here get the wheel back in maybe because i'm actually selling the wheels don't need those anymore uh, i'm not going to keep a spare in here anymore because it doesn't fit the car with the wheels i've got um so i'm going to save the weight and i'm going to use this for basically for storage so yeah so that is basically what i'm going to do next top of here is also no foam so I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm going to take that foam off and put some felt there like that just stops any any rubbing I don't think this matters which way around this goes actually but either way So now the felt is there, stopping those from rubbing, which is great. Because actually, something that is, I've noticed that because this is so compressed, this lid sits very, very close to these cables, these pipes now. So it might be worth actually running some foam I don't think I've got any left, some like draft excluder stuff around the outside of this. So for the time being, I'm gonna pop it on, but I might get hold of some of that just so I can not crush those cables. Because they're not being pinched, but they're certainly not gonna be happy like that. So there's something you might notice is that, that it just, it's just so compressed. There you go, so they're back on. Um, I'm not going to do it any more than finger tight, really, because uh, they do move, but that isn't terrific. So I am definitely going to buy some foam so I can pad that back out again, and that should be fine. So just give this thing a bit of a hoover out now, and we're done. So fingers crossed that will stop that whole purge problem. And, um, but I'll let you know.